Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. There you go. So, the happy birthday song. Okay. All right. The faith. Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday to you. No God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. All right. We're not we're not quite the uh Choir, but we did the best we could. You guys want to see the yeah. cake I made for her? Yeah. The what? Yeah. No, so you guys, hold on, I made it. No, I'm gonna show them the cake I made. Hold on. The cake. Oh my goodness. Cake I time. made her a cake. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We haven't ate it yet, but that's her cake. Happy wow, birthday. that's beautiful. Look at all the cake. I, I made it last night Bye. for her. Happy 13th birthday. Look at that. 13th birthday. Yeah. Wow. That's the cake I made for her last night. That's nice. We're going to have it later with some pizza. We're going to have pizza. Pizza and cake? Yeah, pizza and cake for her birthday. Yes, the birthday. Right. Uh oh, what happened? She wants pepperoni pizza. All right, then. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. Well, you're fine. Let's, uh, you're fine, Faith. Let's, okay, here we go. Let's, let's open up. Let's open up with scripture and prayer. Who's got scripture? Your Bible's on the. It's on your desk. It's on your desk. Uh, I'll read Psalm 93. Okay. okay. Go ahead, Maria. The Lord reigns in oh, so majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and is armed with strength. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. Your throne was established long ago. You are from all eternity. The seas have lifted up, O oh Lord. The seas have lifted up their voice. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves mightier than the thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea. The Lord on high is mighty. Your statutes stand firm. Holiness adorns your house for endless days, O Lord. May blessing be to the hearing and reading of Psalm 93. Amen. 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 So there is a lot of prayer requests. Um, yeah. We mentioned a lot of in our other Bible studies, but... Certainly keep all of us in prayer, our families, <coughs> those who are dealing with COVID, certainly uh, Angie, Chris, and Faith. Yeah. Keep y'all in prayer. And Rutgers, how, how's your mom doing? I see you doing. She doing okay? Yeah, yeah. she's okay. Yeah, she's doing okay. It's, it's fine. But she Good. needs a prayer too. Yeah, we'll, we'll pray for her too. And uh, the Family. And the Pasha King family. I broke a yeah. TV today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what was that? I tell you he broke the TV. What did you say, Nana? What was you trying to do? Fix it? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no. You fixed it all right. He got he got mad. I know. Oh, yeah. No. George, you don't get that. George, what George getting mad about? I broke a TV. Play with the ball. The ball. The ball. It's trying to put on the ball. I'm oh, fucking oh. TV. Oh, oh okay. Pay, and pay for the pot. Uh, the... Yeah, pay for the Pastor King's family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pray for him. Pray for Pastor Jones at Love Temple. That for Love Temple, Pastor Jones. Okay. Um, and I uh, pray for my sister Teresa Newsom and her sons. They're doing. They're doing good, but Thank just God. keep them in prayer. Uh, Mona and Chris, so um, and so many others. So let's just let's just go to God in prayer. That's what we need to do. Okay. Father, we thank you today for allowing us to be here one more time. We just ask for your grace and your mercy to, Lord, just shower us uh, in so many ways. Forgive us our sins and let your Holy Spirit have free reign in our hearts and minds. God, I just want to ask you to just uh, send comfort to those who lost loved ones, to Love Temple, 
to uh, others who lost uh, the Pastor King's family, others uh, who've gone through this uh, holiday season for the first time without that person in place oh, no. that they're so used to seeing and having there. So God, we just lift them up to you. Um, and so many other prayer requests. We pray for our staff here. And uh, not only here, but uh, the other granite programs, uh, you know, collaborative. We just pray, God, that you uh, make a way out of no way. We know you're able. And so, God, we ask that you bless our time now that we um, are studying uh, the Bible. And I just want to pray for, uh, uh, give praise for Faith making another year. Uh, being 13, this is her birthday, God, and just yeah. we'll it all up to you, and we ask you to just uh, touch our hearts as we read your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, Amen and thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. All right. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so where are we at now? We are on number three. How many signs of life are there? Okay. Less okay. Than one, the natural man. All right. So let me do that. Let me bring that up. How'd you do that? Boom. Excuse there you go. Me. So um, Mitra is talking to you, Reverend Turner. No, I heard. What? Well, excuse you. What you want? What you need? Uh, can you let Nana into the meeting? Look, she tells me when I click myself off. <laughs> There you go, Nana. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Dan. Sister Dan. Nana. Are you in now? Hey, hey Dan. Hey, Dan. Hey, Dan. Hey, Dan. All right. <laughs> so we are on we are on number three. Yes. Three. Yeah. What's the question? Question. How many kinds of life are there? Okay, how many kinds of life? How many? How many do you think? Wait, wait, wait. God, Jesus, God, Jesus, Jesus. and angels. Well, if you're talking about the Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, but we're talking about. We're talking about. We're talking about for a person. Oh, you can go all the way to hundred. Who you are? I can't. That's a good one. There, we read a scripture before that talked about the three, and we talked about it before. Oh, yeah. yeah. We talked about it before, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. We talked about the body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The soul. The soul. Wait a minute. You raised your hand. What? What you? Yeah. You raised yeah, your man. hand, Sister Diane. You got your hand up. So I'm trying to tell him I can't hear. So I'm trying yeah. to hear her. Uh, she can't hear, so he's she's trying to hear you. Okay. Can she hear now? It's a hi. Uh, what? She's saying hi. Oh, okay. All righty then. I just saw the the little message thing. Okay. So, uh. Let me see. God, when God created man, He created him from what? His nostril. Nostril. He didn't start with his nostrils. Oh, not tonight. But it, it, but that's part of it. That's part of it. But He made him from what? Remember, we talked about that in Genesis. Oh, Genesis. Yeah. Oh, he talked. Oh, we dust. talked about, huh? He made him. Man from dust. Man from yeah, dust. from the dust. Yeah, and then what? Somebody, you said something about nostril. He did what? And he made woman from 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 the rib. Yeah, but we're we're still talking just about man, just, because everybody, man and woman, both have these um, this kind of life. Yeah. So. When he formed he man the from the dust of the earth, remember we, okay, let's talk about this. Remember we talked about if, if you pinch yourself, what do you do? What happens? 
would not hurt. If you pinch yourself, what happens? It's going to hurt. How you know it's going to hurt? Do you know what because you'll feel no. it. No. You say you can't do it. No. Okay. So if it's, okay, let, let me put it like this. If it's cold outside, how do you know it's cold? Freezing. You'll, you'll feel it. You'll feel, you'll feel it in what? In, in, in your body. Okay. So, body. so do you have a body? Yeah. yeah. Which means you have a physical presence. That's right. Yeah. Right? Your body is who I see you as. Mm -hmm. Now, with that physical life, and it has it right there. I'm going to let y'all cheat a bit. What other kind of life is there, do you see? When God breathed into man, man's nostrils, mm -hmm. what happened? Um, he had to put in the sleep. Oh, yeah. Sleep. Put in the sleep. Oh, no, you, you gone man too far, Demetria. You yeah. talking about having the man. Oh, in the man breathes. He breathed, he breathed in the man's nostril, and man what? And became, became human. Form. He became a living being. Uh -huh. so, so, that we talked about that, and we talked about that mind, the spirit, the yeah. soul, and the body, right? Yeah. Remember us talking about that? The spirit, the soul, and the body. Now, he's talking about this life now. There's a, basically, he says, there are three distinctive types of life taught in the Bible. A is what? Mm. Is that? Physical life. There is a physical life. life. It's up on the screen. Yeah. Somebody read number one. Oh, me, me, me. Go ahead. This life begins at conception and ends at death. All right. So when you are conceived, when you are when you were when you were in your mom's belly. <laughs> I see you the end. And it ends the physical life, the physical life ends. At death. Mm -hmm. uh, what does number two say? It's the only life that the natural man has. Wow. Now, wait a minute. Uh, what? The natural man. Why do you say the natural the man? man? The flesh. Huh? The flesh of, of man. A man? Yeah. 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 Everybody at some point in time is a natural person. Well, we'll say yeah. a natural human. Yes. But do people stay natural? Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, right. No. It's the only life that the natural man has. Okay, so the natural man is the only life that the natural man have. The only life that a natural man have begins at conception and ends at death. Uh -huh. Yes. Right? And yes. really, the, really, it, it, it's really deeper than that because uh, it, it, it does end at death, but death mm, in an eternal sense. Right. So um, that's all the natural man had. Now, who is a natural man? What, what, what does it mean by natural man? Who is a natural man? Me. Somebody who... Wait, let me ask you this way. Is a natural man somebody who don't believe in Christ or somebody who does believe in Christ? They believe in Christ. Who doesn't? Doesn't. Mm -hmm. you, you say, you say a natural man is somebody who doesn't believe in Christ. They believe in Christ. Believe in Christ. Thank God. Now y'all got to make up your mind. I say doesn't. Maria doesn't. say doesn't. What I do you say, say? Oh, I say a natural man is someone who, so, even if even if they don't believe that, uh, they can be. They can't, they have the natural mind to 
No, 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 no. That wasn't the question. It's a yes. Or it's, 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 a, it's an either or. Oh. Either the natural man believes in Christ or the natural man oh. doesn't believe in Christ. Does, like Maria said. Does. I Maria said does not. Maria what? said does not. Oh, does not. Yeah. <sighs> I say doesn't. Okay. Doesn't. All right. So why? Because his life begins at conception and ends at death. Now, somebody who knows Christ, and I just, because it's going to talk about it a little bit later. Somebody who knows Christ, does your life end at death? No. Yes. It ends at death on earth. Yeah, death. We have eternal life. Ah, uh, eternal life. Like, no, 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 you either have you either have eternal life or you don't. Yeah. 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 So I know what you're saying. The body, the body, because of sin, has to die. Mm -hmm. yeah. But and that's as far as the natural man goes, as far as that goes, but he he actually goes to a whole nother place. Yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. Oats. And so he has nothing to look forward to. So it says, number two, it's the only life that the natural man has huh. is in number one. Now, number three says what? As long as the soul and the spirit remain in the body, there is physical life. Okay. So we have a spirit and a body, uh, and as long as... Um, uh, I mean, we have a soul and a spirit, and as long as that's in the body, there's life. Mm -hmm. But our spirit is not good enough. Amen. All right, so let's look at number B. There is a what? We talked about a physical life, right? Physical there is life. a spiritual life. Everybody say physical life. Physical, physical life. life. Okay, I don't want you, because I'm going to ask you a question later. So you need to remember. Oh, All right. Yeah, I'll ask you a question later. It's a surprise <laughs> question. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, it's your body there. B says there is a spiritual life. Now, number one says what? Physical life. Physical life. Number one says what? In B, number one. This yeah. life begins this life at begins salvation. salvation and I chances. Yeah. The lifestyle of the natural man. Okay, so this slide, and then turn to Second Corinthians five seventeen. I want somebody. Second what? Second Corinthians. It's right there on the screen in the red. Right there. Going around and around. So. This life begins at salvation and changes the lifestyle of the natural man. No, it's right here. So I got it. I know you got it. I think you did say that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up on the screen. It's up there in the red under B1. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Oh, I see it. Who's going to read it? I am. Okay, go ahead. Uh, no. You're on chapter one of Second Corinthians? Chapter, chap, Second Corinthians, chapter five. five. Oh, verse chapter five. 17. Oh, 15. Chapter yeah. five, verse 17. Yeah. Yeah. Chapter five, verse 17. I have it. Oh, sorry. Oh. I like that one. It's a keeper. Yeah. Do you have it? Yeah, yeah. right here. Yeah, we good. Okay, we'll read it. Oh, stop it. Hey. Are, you, are you talking about this, 17? Second, five, chapter 5, verse 17. It's right here. Okay, go ahead and read it. Okay, therefore, if anyone's in Christ, he is a new creation, and all things have passed away, and behold, all things become new. Hallelujah. Right. So the spiritual life begins at <laughs> salvation. 
So yeah. what does it mean that the spiritual life begins at salvation? What is that saying? Hmm. When, when, did, when does the spiritual life really begin? What happened? When did you begin in your spiritual life? I began in my spiritual life. Oh, Tanaya? Huh? Pastor's asking you the question. Oh, I'm asking who, who's, who's going to answer it? Oh, I will. I began my spiritual life when I believed that John 3.16 said, uh, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, and whosoever should believe it should not perish, but have eternity life. Uh, and I was a dote at that time. So you believed in that scripture? Yeah. I was asked, do I believe in Jesus Christ? And at the time, I said no, so I had to learn about him. Oh, okay. So the question is not, it wasn't that you believed in the scripture. Uh -huh. You believe believed in, in who? Jesus Christ. There yeah. you go. When you believe yeah. in Jesus Christ, that's what salvation does. So okay. life begins when you believe in Jesus Christ and and changes <laughs> your uh, lifestyle. Mm -hmm. now, what does a lifestyle change? Not doing the things you did before. Doing okay. Better things. Yeah, doing things differently. Yeah. Uh, not acting the way you used to act. I put this. Not uh, just not doing the things you used to do. He changed because it. yeah, he changed it. And so uh, this life begins with salvation and changes the lifestyle of the natural man. So now this, that's what spiritual life. Spiritual life begins and it changes the natural man. Amen. Uh, now, John 10 and 10. John 10 and 10. Okay. Somebody reads number two, but somebody who's going to read John 10 and 10? I will, I will. Okay. I need somebody to read number two right here. It's the abundant life. Yeah, the abundant life. Yeah, the abundant life. Oh, yeah, it's the only life. So, John, the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 10. I can do that one. I have it. Okay, I thought, uh, Demetria, you, oh, you just I read didn't find it yet. Okay. It's in the New Testament book. Okay. John, number 929. <laughs> She, she's looking. Oh, go ahead. Be still, speak to us. And. You have it? Yeah, right here. Yep, I have it. Okay, go ahead, Demetria. Peter was hot. No, no, no. Nope, that's not it. Ten and ten. Yeah. That's, ten. Look what you read. Look at that. Look at the chapter. Look up here. You see it? What chapter is that? Oh, I Matthew, see. Mark, Luke, that John. Is... No. Not it. Yeah. Before Acts. Now we know. Yeah, like that. Yeah, go back. So. John, see? All right. John, <laughs> John chapter 10, verse 10. Okay, got it. A thief comes to steal and kill and destroy, but I came to give life, life in all its fullness. Glory be to God. Thank you. All right. All right. And some say, does somebody else's read different? Uh, my new, if new Life Testament uh, says that these purposes steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying. Oh, no. It's not the new life, oh. New King's version. Uh, no, it's not. And the New King James Version says, the thief can come is not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I come that they might have life and that they might have life, have it more abundantly. Abundantly, yeah. yeah. So. He James. Yeah, that's uh, 
trying to turn this thing down because I don't even want it in my presence. So it's the abundant life. It says, the first part of that says a thief. Mm -hmm. The thief comes to do what? Kill and destroy. Yeah, steal. To steal, Don't to kill, and destroy. Yeah. But Jesus was saying, but I am come that you might have what? Life. And that more abundant life. More abundantly. That means that means a full and meaningful life. That means um uh, I think somebody read one that read pretty nice. I like the way it read. Um, one of the versions. How did yours read, Demetria? Yeah. Will we read John 10, 10 again? Yeah, read it. A thief comes to steal and kill and destroy, but I came to give life, life in all fullness. Life and all its fullness. That's nice. A full and meaningful life. Amen. That's nice. That's what he's come to do. Yeah. So when does it begin? <laughs> when does it begin? When does it begin? When does it begin? Life and all its fullness? When With does it begin? Word. Yeah, y'all not looking at the screen either. I'm I'm just going all across it. It begins with a spiritual birth. You're already born naturally, right? The the mm -hmm. born by Jesus. Mm -hmm. Natural birth is when you you know when you were born into this world. In the hospital, they had you you know all that, and so now to be born again is a spiritual birth. Now, then here's the third kind of life. Steve says what? B says alive. Come here. There is eternal life. It, life. Yeah, eternal. Eternal life. This life. Okay. This Go ahead, life. Read. Oh, here. Faith one three. Which one? Okay. Right here. Right here. Uh, this life. Again. Begins at the new Earth. birth and will never end. All right. It begins at the new birth and it will never end. Good job. Never you guys are doing some fantastic reading today. I just want you to know. So John chapter 10, verse 28. Let's all turn to it. We're already in John chapter 10. Not verse 10, verse 28 of John. Okay. Okay. Again, chapter 20, verse 10. Chapter 10. Chapter 10, verse 28. John chapter 10, verse 28. I got it. I got it. What, you got it? Okay, go ahead and read it tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, and I and I is them. Okay. okay, I need and they shall not never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. Yes, Lord. Wow. Yes, Lord. Who is that? Who is that talking? Hallelujah. Jesus. Who, somebody said Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. That's what Jesus said. He yeah. said, Jesus. I give unto them eternal life. Eternal life. Eternal life. See, that's what it is. there is eternal life. It begins uh, yeah. with our spiritual birth. So when we yeah. receive mm -hmm. Christ, he says, I give you eternal life, and they mm -hmm. shall never, never. Ever, 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 never, never, ever, 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 never, 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 perish. Now, you, Diane, you said John 3.16 earlier, which is, 
God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not what? Shall not perish. Shall not perish. Shall not perish. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Um, and, and I think sometimes we really don't know what it means. What does it mean to perish? Oh, hello, it's too hot the light. Be gone. Well, that's good. To perish. Yeah. Somebody, somebody know? Yeah, yes, yes. Yes. I think that it means to just disconnect from God because if you don't have the Lord guiding you, then who's going to come in and guide, try to guide you? Mm -hmm. um, so connecting, what else? disconnecting with God, you're going to perish because, you know, things are going to, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else? Oh, God. To die. To die? Die. Die. Yeah, what else? Okay. Sure, die as a No, God. Die in the glass. Die on the cross? That's what you're saying. Yeah. Um, huh? He's gonna be alive that. again. It's 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 you're right, you're right. But but I want you to get the gist of it. Perish, when you perish, uh-huh, yeah, the, the final result is what? He comes alive. You come to life. Is that what it is? Yeah. That's good, Angie. Yes, death. Oh, death. Yeah, that's what Angie said. Death. That's good, Angie. Yeah. Yeah, it ends. It ends that way. But if I'm perishing, mm -hmm. it, it's kind of an anguishing death. It's the anguish that, that leads to death. Is it and the suffering? There is a suffering. Yeah. But it's unnecessary yeah. suffering. Amen. Um, this is what this one says. In the Hebrew, perish oh. is a bad. Yeah. To be lost. <laughs> oh, uh, cutting off from realizing the good for which the person, beast, or staying was created. So it, it's, it's cut off from... Your purpose. Yeah. So to perish means you're living a life that's not your purpose. Amen. It's perishing. And that's sad. Yeah. Because, it, you know, it, it, a lot of people are doing that. A lot of people do that. Yeah. That's how a lot of people live today. Uh -uh. They per they're perishing. They're cut off. They don't understand that God has made them for purpose and that's what you don't have that you don't have to worry about he said you'll never perish neither shall any man pluck you out of my hand hallelujah yeah so he lets you know that it can't be done by force yeah. it can't catch you or snatch you away um no way no yeah. way. Yeah. Just no way. Huh? I so, like that. Amen. No amen. Just the simple word is pluck, like a chicken. Yeah. 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 Just, <laughs> you, can't, you, you can't do that. Yeah, I like that. And that's now, what does that mean to you? What does that, yeah. how, do you, how do you feel? How do you feel when you hear him say that? How does that make you feel? It made me feel good. Good. Yeah. What else? Yeah. Good. 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 For real. I mean, because nobody else can do that. Okay. You know? God get him. God can. Yeah. You know? But I got to do some work too. But in there, in there, in there, some type of security. It's, yeah. Personally. That I don't have to worry about it. Oh, Assurance. Yeah. Huh? Assurance. Assurance. Yeah, that assurance. I mean, I, you can, you can, 
Yeah. You know, when you are secure, when you're How assured, you see? when you have assurance, when you have those things, it causes you to live different. Remember, <laughs> remember it says this spiritual life begins at salvation and changes the lifestyle of the natural man. Hallelujah. Now you God has shown you your purpose. He has He's given you assurance and security that, that you don't have to worry about him leaving you Amen. or forsaking you. Amen. You don't have to worry about those things. And, and so now uh, it causes you to live different, a little more boldly uh, toward life, a little more uh, understanding that it don't matter what's going on around me, what matters is what's in me. Amen. In you. Like, um, uh, what is that? Uh, is that Philippians? Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Um, it might be in first John, I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to find it, or if somebody knows that where he says. Uh, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Who is Hebrews? John four and four. What happened to First John four and four. Yeah, first John. That's what I was thinking. First John. You're probably right. First John is at the end. And how does it read, Maria? Uh, it reads, uh, you dear children are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Mine All reads. right. What you say? I like you. First John is four. Yeah. First John. Four. Chapter four, verse four. Found it. Got it. First, second John. It's in the back. It's first and second John. First and second Peter. It's before you get to Revelation. It's three of them. One, two, three. What are you guys doing? Go ahead. Somebody else want to read Go it? ahead, Tanaya. You have it? Yeah. Read it. You okay, okay, I can't hear when other people are talking. Go ahead. My dear children, you belong to God. Tanaya. Do you have it, Tanaya? Yes. Read it. Who are of God, little children, and have come, overcome them, and because he is in the world, and the and you you are greater than he is who in Just go. Good, good. You fine. You reach your. It says greater. Start at greater. And. Greater than he who is in the world. Okay. Yeah. And Demetria, did you ever find yours? Can I read mine next? Read yours. My dear teacher, children, you belong to God, so you have defeated them because God's spirit. You who is in you is greater than the devil. 
who was in the world. Greater than the devil. Greater than the devil is in the world. That's true. That's true. Amen. Yeah. So, so God is greater in you yeah, than the yeah. things around and outside of you, because mm -hmm. He says greater in you, and also He talks about the world. God yeah. is in the world, and the world is usually outside of us, trying to get inside of us. But if yeah. God, it, you know, I look at it like this. Um, you know, you a know, ship, a ship when it's on water. Water. Oh yeah, right there. Oh, right there. Um, right. it's okay. Right. It could stay on top of the water, right. as long as the water doesn't get in the ship. <laughs> Amen. Does that make sense? <laughs> yes. A boat can go yeah. on the water as long as the water don't get all in the boat, and cause it to sink. Oh, it's oh, get wet. Oh, so, so it's the same kind of thing when we talk about greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. The world is like the water and you're like the boat. Yeah. And God is yeah. in you making sure the world's water don't get in you. Yes, so, that you can, yeah. so that you can go ahead on and ride the waves. Ooh, hallelujah. <laughs> and not sink. Yeah. <laughs> you can ride on water oh, and not see. So, yeah. So, it, uh, no. That, I, I guess I just used that one with no. it, new birth will never end. So, number two says what? C number two. Number two, Dippy. John, number two. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Listen. Okay, wait a minute. Exactly. Maria, Maria's talking. Go ahead. Natural man doesn't possess eternal life, nor does, I think that should say he, possess the benefits of salvation, which include the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Okay. So the natural man doesn't possess eternal life. Remember we talked about the natural man? Mm -hmm. yeah. His life ends at death. He does not have yeah. eternal life in the way that we have eternal life. So here's, here's why they could say that his life ends in death. Because in all actuality, he's going to live eternally. Amen. But he's not going to live eternally in heaven. Get that right. And so if you live eternally apart from God, you're eternally dead. Yeah. There's no life in you. So uh, the natural man doesn't possess, nor does the, nor does he possess the benefits of salvation, which include the what? The indwelling of who? Jesus Christ. Of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Now that word indwelling means he lives inside of you. He makes his resident yes. inside of you. <clears throat> Amen. Okay, so let's let's look at number three. We'll end it with number three. Somebody, uh, somebody. Number three. Okay, one is, can we read it? Go ahead. Okay, ready, Faith? Ready? Right here. What is that? Okay. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, go ahead. Natural. Natural. Man. Man. Doesn't. Let her read it. The. In the welly. In the welly. Okay, hold on, right here. Okay. Spirit. 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 He. Doesn't. Doesn't. Under. Under. St standing. Mm hmm. Spirit. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Good job. Good job. Thank, thank you. Good job. Since the natural man doesn't possess the indwelling spirit, he doesn't understand spiritual things. So let's go to 1 Corinthians 
Chapter 2, verse 14. First Corinthians. First Corinthians. Oh, chapter 14. Chapter 2, verse 15. Look up on the screen. Yeah, 14. Yes. Who's going to read it? I am. Go ahead, go ahead Tanaya. Okay. Report. He who is spiritual judges all, all things yet. He himself. No, no, you want to go up one. You want to go up, Tanaya? You want to go up one verse to the 14th verse, not the 15th. The 14th verse. Read that one. 14. You're reading 15. It's okay. Okay, we're good. Oh, you want 14? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But the natural man does not receive the receive the things of the spirit who are foolishness to him. Nor can he know them because you're spiritually discerned. Yeah. All right. Very good. All right. Now, since the natural man doesn't possess the indwelling of the spirit, he doesn't <laughs> understand spiritual things. Amen. And so this scripture is letting us know the natural man, he can't receive yeah. the things of the spirit of God. Yeah. Why? Because they are mm -hmm. foolishness. <laughs> In other words, it, it just, it don't make sense. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, right? Neither can they, can he know them? You can't know them. Because why? Why can't he know them? Why do they sound full? Huh? Because he doesn't have the spirit of God in him. Okay. They are spiritually discerned. Yeah, so the so the Bible, Yeah, the Bible lets us know that they are spiritually discerned. In other words, you need to have the Holy Spirit revealed to you. <coughs> What, uh, and, and, and we wouldn't be able to understand this Bible unless we had the Spirit reveal some Thank stuff. Amen. So, uh, the, the, there, so, what did you learn today? Uh, let's start with, uh, faith and. No, it's in what? Faith, that's what you learned today. What? What did you learn today? Did you, what did you learn today? Oh no. That's your birthday answer? Oh no. Hey. No. I, I learned about eternal life. I learned about eternal life. Okay, eternal life. That we can Thank leave you. our past behind and start over. Amen. Amen. That new Amen. creature. Oh hey, no. new creature. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Okay. Uh, uh Sister Demetria, what did you learn? Learned about spiritual life. Spiritual life. Yeah. Sister Diane. I I learned about being a new creation um, in Christ <laughs> and and how to have uh, in first uh, second Corinthians five seventeen and how to have when you have no. spiritual life, uh, you have abundance abundance of it when you you know when you looking for where the abundance is coming from. And that's from the, the Lord's word. Okay. Okay. Uh, George, what did you learn? George, yeah. What did you learn? I crucify him. Crucify him. <laughs> they crucified him? Okay, Tania, what did you learn? Yeah. <laughs> so, George. I learned about Huh? What did you learn? I learned about the natural life. All right. John? Yeah. 
John? John, what did you learn? Uh, Mm -hmm. About Jesus. Oh. You learned about what? Jesus what you life. Oh, okay. The Jesus life. Okay. Jesus life. Yeah. Sister Maria, what did you learn? Um, well, not only that there was three distinctive types of life, but how one of them you're just given the physical life and the other two you're given, but only when you're willing to accept them. All right. Now, how about you? Me? <laughs> you. You, you. What did you learn? I learned that Jesus is awesome. <laughs> yeah. awesome. Oh my God. So yeah. much, so much he does for us. So much. He continues to do for us. Just and, and we don't we take the little things for granted. Sometimes we just take things for granted. And so when I'm yeah, doing yeah. Bible study, it reminds me of not to take those little moments for granted. Amen. Right? Yeah. When I when I first received Christ, that might have been a little moment <laughs> in time, but it was a big moment in my life. Yeah. So. Oh, um, Reverend yeah. Turner, she says she knows now. Oh, okay. Um, how, oh, no. God help. God help me. Yeah. Help me. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. He does Thank help you. us. That's good, Faith. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Happy birthday. birthday. Birthday, Faith. Oh, Christopher's in his yeah. room laying down. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. So, my question is. <laughs> how many kinds how many kinds of life are there there's and, oh. na there's and name them there's eternal life there's a spiritual life right okay and what else physical an eternal and okay good <laughs> oh, you said, that's, that's three of them oh yeah. so those are the three kinds of life there are now we talked a little bit about them and hopefully you have a little better understanding about yeah. what they are. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you for the teaching. Does anybody else have any further comments or questions or anything? Uh, me. Yes. What was that? You pray for Christopher and get better soon. Pray for Christopher. Yeah. And energy. Yeah. And energy. Yeah. We will. So, um, who's going to close us out in prayer? Me. No, me. Okay. Yeah, George. George went for he. I heard his him say me first. So. Okay. Well, 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 who who wants who else wants to pray? I am. George, Tanaya. Yeah. And Demetria, you can pray. So we'll have George pray, then we'll have Tanaya pray, then we'll have Demetria. You can close us out. Okay. Lord, keeping the God loves you more. And if this fire is going to be in, Lord, keep me the glory. It's going to be good for days. Tonight, <laughs> yeah, let's be being uh, again. And this is going to be. Amen. Amen. Okay, Tanaya. Are you okay? Tanaya, go ahead and pray. Okay. Thank you, God, for this Bible study. Thank and you, Lord Jesus. Oh. And pray for Christopher. Amen. 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 All right. Lord Jesus, forgive me. Forgive me for my sins. Thank you for this day you have made. Thank you for letting the rain come and help this help this virus and the other plague to stop. Mm -hmm. And protect all of us and keep the homeless people safe from the virus. Mm -hmm. and, Jesus. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you.
And thank, thank you, guys you for being here. Thank you for being here. Five o'clock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. I'll be a little late, but I'm coming. Okay. We'll be all here. Right. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Happy New Year, 2021. Yeah, 2021. Bye. Click us out. Okay. There you go. Boom. <laughs>